Hey guys, Fabian here with the iPhone 10. Let's get into it. I was on the fence about getting the iPhone 10, but after going to the store back and forth, I decided to give it a try. Right away, I thought it was way too small, and coming from a plus sized phone, it felt cramped and narrow. I needed a few days to adjust to the size difference. After using it for a while, not having a home button became my favorite part of this new phone. The gestures are similar to the iPad and it becomes much faster to navigate around. Being able to flick around to exit apps and switch between them makes the experience more fluid. The new iPhone also has faster touch response than the previous ones, making your touches feel instant. The whole phone just felt much faster even when just swiping through the home screen. I noticed my iPhone 7 Plus looked laggy in comparison. The edge-to-edge -edge screen makes the phone feel modern, new, and fresh. The screen quality looks better than the Plus phone. It was brighter outside and more vibrant overall. The text seemed sharper and pictures had more life to them. Materials feel better than the previous iPhones and the glass back was easier to grip. The small size also made it easier to handle and made the Plus model feel huge. The camera had a much better autofocus, it seemed to have better dynamic range as well, and the way it captured HDR photos was more accurate. The new screen also made the pictures just look better on the phone itself. Having a smaller phone was more convenient when taking pictures, and just handling it overall was easier. Portrait mode was a bit more usable, but it still hit or miss. Being able to record 4K at 60fps was a nice feature. The quality really surprised me with how good it looks, and I was happy with the footage I got with it. I've also added photos I took in the description below. Here's some sample footage I took over the past few weeks. The iPhone 10 also comes with wireless charging, a nice feature if you have both Samsung and iPhone in your house. It's not faster than charging with a cable, but it is a nice novelty feature. I'm glad all iPhones forward will come with it. The battery life was not as good as my plus sized phone. Both still had to be charged at least once during the day or with an external battery. It all depends on the usage, but I am patiently waiting for a true all day battery. The iPhone 10 starting at 64 gigs is too little, especially when they advertise the 4K at 60 FPS recording as a selling point. It should start at 128 gigs minimum. Using Face ID to pay was really easy. Just double tap the side button, show your face to the camera, hold it next to the reader, and that's all you have to do. I hated the notch when I first saw it, but I will say you don't notice it too much when you're using the phone. It was less of an issue than I had previously thought. As odd as it looks, it helps distinguish itself from all the other phones out there, which is probably another reason they went with this design. While the screen is advertised as being bigger, there's just less content that is able to fit. Pictures look smaller compared to the Plus screen. Websites are more cramped and narrow. It takes getting used to coming from the Plus size. This was my biggest drawback and what felt like a step backwards for me. Face ID worked great, I would give it a 90% success rate. Even in the dark it still worked well. I'm not sure if I would say it's faster or slower than Touch ID, but it's about the same. Being able to swipe up to unlock felt more natural. It worked with sunglasses, hats, and with only part of my face being shown. I'm a fan of Face ID, as it feels more seamless to use. With Face ID, you're also able to show notifications only when you're looking directly at the screen. And emojis are the fun gimmick Apple put into the iPhone 10, and while it is gimmicky, it looks really good and you will get a few laughs out of it. While the iPhone 10 is more expensive than the previous phones, the iPhone 7 Plus with 256 gigs was also over $1000. The price jump from an iPhone that actually feels different isn't a big deal. People will buy it either way because it's new. If you have a smaller iPhone 6 or 7, this will be a great upgrade for you. If you have the plus size phone already, it takes time to getting used to it and does not seem as big as an upgrade where it really matters. For me, I valued having a larger screen more than any other feature the iPhone X had to offer. I returned it. 
in hopes that a plus size phone would be released sometimes in 2018. I will miss being able to swipe around the phone with ease, but I look forward to having the plus size phone more. If you enjoyed my video on coming from an iPhone 7 Plus to the iPhone 10, please uh, give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will have more videos and reviews coming soon. Thank you, see you in the next one.